Hello to you, the viewers of Berlin Daily. My name is Maria Konjelska, and we are in the Magic Mind Museum with a real magician. Why? Thank you very much for this invitation. Thank you for, thank you for coming to my museum. Really well, soon it. you will become such a big star that <laughs> you will perform in American or British TVs. But then remember that the English-speaking show, the first one was our, us. Um, maybe yes. May, I, I'm not quite sure. I, I, I might have another one, but I always remember you. Trust me. Thank you, Dan. But uh, still you have very interesting museum open in the yeah. heart of uh, Praga, which is the part of Warsaw. Yeah. Um, with a uh, thrilling, exciting, many different tricks and shows, yeah. illusions. Tell us, uh, when people come here, what can they do themselves? How they can like, yeah. get into the play, of enjoy? Course. So, so beside the fact of historical, it's, uh, my goal was to not create a boring museum of history of magic. So first of all, you can enjoy a magician who is always in the museum and just have some entertainment. But uh, for me, the magic happens when uh, you can do something. So we prepared 13 installations and uh, some of them I can just describe it to you. For example, we have a real life, uh, re real life size, a replica of a, a Chinese uh, water torture cell that Houdini used. And we placed it uh, in a way uh, to the ceiling so you can uh, go inside, hover a bit with your hands so your legs will be in the air, make a picture and turn it around so it looks like you are in a water torture cell just like Houdini. And uh, even going inside, it's kind of uh, weird to feel how he would feel like. And just to, just to make sure you know, you go inside and there is air there and for Houdini there was water there so uh, this is how scary it was. Other stuff is we have uh, recreated the uh, levitation of Kellars so people can levitate themselves. Uh, we also have the biggest uh, infinity mirror in the world. It's two meters diameter that you can make amazing pictures and photos and go and look in this tunnel like it would be infinite but actually uh, it's just an illusion. We have upside down uh, room, but it's the only upside down you know, room in the, in the world that has a working TV. We're waiting what people will be able to come up with this because people are creating their own magic in this. And uh, I would assume people will stand on the ceiling uh, in this room, but people are laying, jumping, and it's, it's crazy, the pictures. Uh, we have this philosophical thing in which you can go and look inside of your uh, of your uh, insights, like uh, inside yourself. And the way we did it, we have a printing in a wall, and we have a small piece of this printing exactly the way. So if you hold it, it looks like you are transparent. Uh, we have this uh, giant three meters uh, spider that is actually painted on the wall, uh, on the side, on two sides of the wall, but when you make a correct picture, it will come alive and will look like 3D. So you can either act scared or overcome your fears and face the big spider. So there are plenty of uh, very entertaining illusions that you can do your own, on your own. And What's make really made me gobsmacked is those triangles and squares, which basically are the same, yeah. but they look so different. Yeah, so, so and this illusion of eyes, which we don't realize at all, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, so there are some optical illusions, optical illusions that uh, are on the on the uh, beginning of the of the museum because we didn't want to waste any wall in the museum, and we we put it uh, small pieces there. But sometimes those small pieces are the most entertaining. Yeah, and, so so and, easy uh, and so. And you have two shapes Amazing. that they look uh, different size, but uh, but they are the same size, and uh, it's very trippy. And also, we we make sure made sure that people can actually play with it. So we have those shapes uh, cut it out uh, separately, so you don't have to believe us that those shapes are the same, but you can actually measure on your own, which is very important for me. And also, if you do a video, uh, even even we are here, like we run the museum for like a week. Some of the videos got like hundreds, hundreds of thousands of views uh, with those pieces because they are so interesting. And that the funny, funny thing is that some of these illusions, even though we know how they work, they still works. 
the face thing, the ugly face thing. Oh, uh, that's really amazing. Uh, this is just, just, just weird. And trust me, we've made like 80 different faces with this for our guests at the grand opening. And, and I'm still amazed how it looks like and how it works. So uh, those, those illusions are very powerful. Congratulations for you. Mm -hmm. And I hope that the viewers of Poland Daily will just simply see and enjoy the crazy pictures illusions of eyes. Of course, it's not real magic, but it's the power of mind and technology which Y is presenting to us, and it is really magical. In your mind, it will create a real magic, but technology and secrets create amazing magic in your mind. So, uh, in a way, it's real magic, but everybody can do it in our museum. Yeah. Well, if everybody, then you as well. Come and thank you for watching Poland Daily.